Hi there Algarve lovers, welcome back to our channel. Today is a little bit of a different video. There's no whining and dining on beaches today. We thought um, we'd show you around where we live. We live on a farm in Peshaw. And on this farm it has about 200 alpha roba trees, um, which is these here. And these are carobs. Now, in some maybe the next week, um, they're going to knock these off, bag them up, store them to dry and then sell them so it's going to take there's about five or six of them that come and do it every year every, all every august they do it uh takes them about five days because there's a lot of trees here and i'll just show you what they're like some some have actually fell off but what they do they, they get a big stick and they just rattle the trees like that and they all well i'll just show you what happens if you just if that's to just fall off like that so these are called carobs or alfa roba in, in Portugal and they use for many things first of all um, it can be made you can make chocolate out of them cakes biscuits and also uh, there's, it's, it's also in cosmetics like lip balm makeup uh, a face mask you, they, they make us supposed to be the best face mask out of these so this happens every August and um, a little funny story um, a house that we look after it has five of these trees in and we didn't know that you you know they were worth quite a bit of money these and we used to bag them up and we think oh there's more dropping off because if you don't knock them off in one go just drop off over a, you know three or four weeks so we kept every time we got to the garden we were tied in the garden up picking these up throwing them away then someone said to us what are you doing with them so we're chucking them they don't chuck them you sell them <laughs> you get a right few quid for them <laughs> so no i didn't know <laughs> anyway so there is about 200 trees here and what I was going to take you and show you on, on the farm is all the things that grow on it yeah we have oranges we have figs we have grapes we have pomegranates and I'll save the best while the last I won't even tell you what that is just yet keep that as a surprise so let's go and take a look right so here's our only fig tree it's quite large actually and um, all the low hanging fruits have already been taken because my sister-in-law has been and stole them all <laughs> but I'll just show you there's still quite a lot left so I'll just put one off there there we go yeah I mean you can eat them fresh like that anyway but um, what my sister-in-law has just done she's just made a load of jam it's fig jam is absolutely beautiful and it's perfect to go with cheese Okay, off to the next tree. See what else we've got. Right, so here we are amongst the um, orange groves here. We've actually got rows and rows and rows of this lot. So when they, in the young age, they, they look like limes. You wouldn't think they're oranges. We get two crops a year. This next lot will be ready probably October. Ow. And our landlord he actually rents this space out uh, to like a juicing company and they come and uh, he doesn't have nothing to do with the actual oranges himself they just come and pick them twice a year and do whatever they do with and then at the other side um, of the shed is his own oranges which he does as he pleases with I'll show you again here yeah and here we are the pomegranate tree a look at these it's about September when these are ripe you only get um, one crop a year out of them but they're beautiful as well so we'll be munching on them soon won't we yep. they are really delicious yeah and then next to it which is a shame you can't really see it because you must have picked all these grapes they're just just oh, about just they're the just they're just growing no they're just growing again now oh, yeah, yeah. so he's actually uh, he's been in there took them all off all the ones there now what I really wanted to show you now you follow me and it's a shame because I've just come to this tree and he's took what was on he's took them all off but I'll just show you a banana tree now he planted these about three years ago and this is the first time that we've got a crop out but I really wanted to show you this because they, they were full full size but we do have two more trees here which I'll show you. They're not quite ready. Well, here's the baby ones. 
<laughs> there we go. And um, what, what I actually found out today that I didn't know, that um, once they harvest the crop, the plant dies. But then, yeah, and then, but they have uh, suckers growing at the bottom to make more trees. I only just found that out today. Look how little I know. They are. Well, I remember. Do you, don't you remember when they, they, when yeah. they first seen they were about the this babies, big? Really tight, yeah. Anyway, th these are not too bad. This, wow. They're like it's medium really size, yeah. Normally, it's in tropical countries that you grow bananas. Yeah. So we're lucky to. Yeah, because um, I, I have got friends that uh, have tried growing banana trees and they've just not taken. Normally, they put them in a polytunnel or something. But yeah. They grow huge, don't they? Also, this one here, I can't show you now because uh, they've been and gone. It's, uh, they're called Nespras. And they're sort of like in between a peach and a plum. They're the size of a plum, but the texture of a peach. And they're really, really nice. But uh, you get them sort of like end of May, early June. So they're all gone now. Okay, so the, uh, our neighbors are here, taking the carobs down using a long stick. Let's see how they do it. So they use that big stick to knock them all down. And then they end up on the floor here. Then the landlord will come down and bag him. No. Butad. So they're all bagged up here, ready to go on the tractor. Okay, senor. Ah. On the camion? Okay, okay. That's sweet. There's another one bagged up, ready to go. Quantum sacks. Quantum sacks. See. Todo cheio. Si, si, si. Muito bom. So, quantos dias trabalhar aqui? Agora? Mm -hmm. Três. Três dias, ok. So, it takes them three tem, days. Tem, tem no armazém, tem que carregar todos os dias para o armazém. Sim. Sí. Sí. Já ouvi duas carradas para o armazém, lá para onde eu moro. Ok. É. Isto é só dois. Off he goes to load the truck. Well, it's not all fun and games in the Algarve. We do do a bit of work now and again, you know. So, I'll see you later. See you in the next one. Ciao for now.